Right, so I've got a bit of good news for everybody who's a fan of Oldham Library. Um, as you know, buildings once they've been replaced tend to get knocked down, but the good news is that this library isn't going to get knocked down. In fact, what's going to happen with it is it's going to be turned into like the new local interest centre. So my understanding is they're going to, I think they're still going to be displaying art above <coughs> And um, they're basically going to be having all the records here. So it'll be the records office. Um, I imagine it'll be the art gallery. You know what I really like about this place? I've told everyone that you're with me today. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like to mention it on my video. <laughs> um, wow. I like this old sign and I'll tell you why I like it. Because you see there where the phone number is? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Years ago, before the phones turned over, there yeah. was 061, and then they added the one so they could make more numbers. Wow. Um, and they've never ever changed it. And I've also noticed you've got old, 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 old and Council logo on there as well. Where? Just there. Oh, old, bloody hell, yeah, old, yeah, old leisure old services. services. Uh, this garden here that we're coming into now, this, is, um, this garden was created by the Rotary Club. Um, so we'll have a look at this. But I wanted to show you this. Have you seen these on the side of the building? Now these are all writers, philosophers, Handel, musicians, I think as well. Mozart, Milton, Dante. Wow, look at that. There's more. That's what I really don't like this building. Yeah. The new library, I don't like it. I'd rather have it in that building. Yeah. Than what it used to be. I don't like it. I honestly I don't like it. I think it looks. Look, it's all. Dirty. It's all peeling off. Yeah. The glass is filthy. There's all green mold growing down the sides of the walls. Oh, and then you've got this beauty over here. Let's have a look at these. So we've got Swift. I think that's Carne. Can't read that. I think that's Carne. Garne or Carne. And J Johnson maybe. Yeah, I think that's Johnson. Look at that fella's face. Looks like a bollock yeah, maybe for you. Right everybody, we're outside uh, the old picture house. I think it was a picture house. Pretty convinced it was, aren't we? Uh, yeah, it's some for, some of the four entertainment complex. Yeah, right? yeah, on Union Street, just at the bottom of Union Street. To put a bit of context, that's the Oldham Cron and it's right across the road. Now, um, what used to happen with these buildings is they, they'd have beneficiaries who would pay um, to install them. And this particular one, one of the beneficiaries was Arthur E. Wrigley. Um, now Arthur lived on Wellington Street, he had a big massive house on there and he was actually a cotton spinner. So he would have been one of the people that set about during the cotton boom, I think he was born in 1865, so he would have been well into his 50s, on his way to his 60s there, wasn't he? Yeah, in his 50s. Um, and he basically, uh, yeah, he funded some of that building and um yeah he's quite an influential uh cotton spinner by all accounts yeah, and then we've got the royal oak i think we've featured this in another video but yeah. the royal oak um a really good example of what a good old old and boozer look like because it just hasn't changed has it at all that would be street now. <laughs> you had them kids Right everybody, we're just halfway up Yorkshire Street and I was just looking at these old buildings here. These would have been where people would have lived years ago and still do to this day I suppose. Uh, but some of them will have literally been houses. I mean this is Montana Chicken now but that probably was actually where someone lived. In fact I'll, I'll look that up and find out. But uh, I wanted to show you the front of Scruples. Scruples Nightclub owned by Pat Kelly. And it's still got the original doors. So I think that's the door in, and that's the kick out door, maybe. <laughs> 
Scruples nightclub. Look at the old doors there with the S. I mean, this closed years ago. I'm going to find out what year it closed, but... And now we're coming up to one of the, again, one of the oldest yeah. pubs in Oldham. The old mess house. Um, it's now been converted into a uh, dentist, but um, I do have pictures of the old... I'm going to put them in for you, but I've got pictures of the old um, cellar. Uh, just still got all the adverts on for uh, for the drinks and the uh, people brew is where they get all the ale from who has seen and taken the time to read all of these grave markers which make up the floor of the church um, what I want to show you before we go to the uh, night spot of Oldham I want to show you this little thing at the side what am i talking about this little crest in the side of the building look at that and the reason why it's got the crown on was because for many years this was the olden courts so you would come here if you <coughs> you wanted to divorce I'm not even filming it, but have you seen how someone's graffitied the church? Yeah. That's absolutely disgusting. I know. I won't even film it. And then this is one of the, I think this is the oldest street in Oldham, isn't it? Yeah, church, church line it is. Yeah, the oldest street in Oldham. Now this tea is still, still retail outlets. You've got the salt cellar. You can go in there and get some food and get a drink. Uh, but the majority of the businesses down here are all sort of solicitors. And then you've got Age UK's head office of Oldham and but on general solicitors and you can never park down here or you get tickets, yet people are doing but the idea is you don't. See these do you see these yeah. shops here? They are the original part of the market. I had to cook one because I sat with them chips smelt nice, didn't they, coming from that place? But these are the original part of the market, but the rest of it has been decimated. Yeah. But literally, these units, well, them ones up there, yeah. they used to run all the way around so you could get fruit yeah, and veg. It was heaving. Can you? Yeah, yeah, I can remember one. Bloody back. hell. Going in the box. What's that noise? Closed lockdown three. Keep clear. Don't park in front of door. Open Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Monday. Open next Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Right, everyone. I'm very, very, very excited to bring this next bit of the video to you. So you've got the new NHS care centre up there. Um, well, that's not what we've come to see. We've actually come to see the delightful candlelight. Now, this is the building, this is the building from the side and uh, this, like, this building started out its life in the early 1900s, we think. Uh, there aren't any date stones or much information to go off, but it was called the Savoy and it was a, a dance studio or a dance theatre. So like years ago in the 50s and 40s and 30s or whatever, people would come here, uh, men would come here to meet the girls and the girls would come here to meet the boys and other men. and. Um, yeah, it was, uh, they used to come here and sort of dance and if you notice, they've even kept the, well, I think they're, they were put on by um, the guy who used to, called Ken Naylor, it was called, 
Uh, now he opened the candlelight in the mid 60s um, and what he wanted to do is he wanted to bring uh, a different type of nightlife to the people of Oldham. Something similar to what you could find maybe in Manchester or London and he opened the world famous international night spot called the candlelight. Now Ken was a bit of a character by all um, by my understanding uh, I don't think you mess with him. Um, told you straight, you know, one of them type, one type, one of them types of people. But he was actually the first fella or the first uh, club owner in Oldham to bring strippers. <laughs> and the likes of Bob Munkhouse played here, Ingelbert Umpeldink played here. Um, who else? God, they all played. Bernard Manning. He came along and played at the Candlelight. And I used to go to the Candlelight in its time. So you'd get here around about 10 o'clock at night, maybe a bit earlier actually, because it would really kick out at the candlelight, you know. And you go upstairs and there was a, still there now, a big dance floor, it looks like some uh, Saturday Night Fever. Um, and it was all different colours and they used to play these songs and you'd get up absolutely trolled. And uh, yeah, it was a good night. You always knew when the night was coming to an end though, because they play New York, New York by Frank Sinatra. So then you get up drunk with your high heels on and start kicking your legs up like you thought you remember at Can Can. So yeah, the delights of the old candlelight, and let's hope it opens soon. Although it's not, um, it's not a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a nightclub anymore, but you can go there and you can have parties and stuff and rent the room out. Uh, I've got a little bit more news as well. Um, if you read the comments on the channel, you might already know this, but the chap on the channel who made notes recently about the Civic, uh, he claims that they're going to be knocking the Civic Centre down soon. Um, reason being, saying it's costing too much to keep it open. Um, so that's going to be another one of Oldham's buildings that have gone down. I think it could be quite a shame actually because it's quite iconic been there as long as I can remember but um, in terms of what they're probably going to do with it I suspect they'll probably do something like what they've done with Ashton funnily enough by the bus station um, where they put up something that's well that looks like the bus station really but is used as council offices I think that's what they'll end up doing uh, and that's it and we're now just by the old CNA old B&M old what shop at the lost and near Windy City, yeah, near Windy which City. is where the Spindles is built now. Yeah. Uh. Look at that old door there, that old entrance. Now that is the old workshop, so when you go in there, pretty sure it's this one, when you go in there, it's basically like walking back in time. Uh, and you have actors that are in there, and they basically, when you go in, they say, oh, come in my, come in my kitchen, and... Yeah. I mean, these are quite impressive, these buildings. This is the, um, this is the back of the church. In fact, you know what, it might be in the base of the church, actually, the, um, the workshops. 